Hey everyone, this is Devin. Today we want to talk about something really important, something that a lot of people don't consider, and this is about concentration. So concentration is critical to our ability to get things done. Oftentimes when we procrastinate, we feel like it's a matter of the issue itself or something that's wrong with us. Oftentimes it's just that we haven't trained our minds to concentrate on what's important. In the evolutionary cycle of human beings, we didn't always have access to food and we didn't always have access to things that would keep us running like we do today. So the mind always looks for shortcuts to try to shut itself down and make tasks easier so it consumes less energy. And our mind always defaults to these easy pathways. So like the muscles, if you don't work out your muscles, your muscles will atrophy. They eventually will weaken and you won't even be able to stand up. If you, in the same way, if you don't work out your mind, your mind will atrophy and you'll automatically default to making a lot of bad or simple decisions. So today I want to go over Anapanasati, which is a basic meditation practice that I do every morning. And I hope that it helps you and adds some value to you. So here's what you do. You sit up, you can sit against a bed or you can sit on a little pillow. And I like to put my hands in my lap. And what we're going to do is we're gonna focus exclusively on our breathing. The mind has many, many different thoughts. It's like a constant train of thoughts. You can never stop it. And as soon as you start doing this, you'll become aware of all of the thoughts that you have. You wanna sit up really straight, pull your shoulders down, and you'll wanna close your eyes and just focus on your breath going through your nose and out your nose or in your nose and out your mouth and try only to focus on your breath concentrate only on your breath what will happen is that you'll get some thoughts that come into your mind and they'll be ridiculous you'll get thoughts about what you should pick up at the grocery store or things that you should be doing that time that one kid made you angry in third grade. There's these amazing, it's amazing how much the mind will try to deliberately distract you from doing this practice. And I find that you can only really concentrate maybe two to five seconds on your breath before you get some extra thought. So the process of bringing your attention back to your breath is the practice that is the mental workout that's the deadlift you don't need to worry if you're always out of focus and you can't seem to ever focus on anything it will get incredibly frustrating if you track it via that metric what you want to do instead is you want to focus on bringing your attention back to your breath when your thoughts leave so you sit still focus on your breath in and out Notice the tempo, notice the tonality, you're breathing really strong or you're breathing soft and just watch it, concentrate on that one thing. Later on in a practice, you get into Vipassana and you can focus on things in your body or shapes, but you, the idea is to focus on a single thing. In this case, one of the easiest things to focus on is your breath. And make sure that you don't deviate from it. And if you do, which you inevitably will, focus back on your breath, that is the practice. It seems like not much, and it's really weird at first that this has such profound effects. This is essentially meditation. This is the basics of meditation that has been practiced for thousands of years. Anybody can do it. All you need is to sit down anywhere. You can do it during noise or quiet. I like to use an application named Calm. I usually put on the silent setting, and then I just put 20 minutes, and I'll sit there and I'll focus on my breath. I will tell you this has had some of the most profound effects out of anything that I've ever practiced. Doing this on a consistent basis has completely changed my life. Just 20 minutes a day. Give it a shot for 10 minutes. I think it's a good place to start. I couldn't do 20 minutes at first. It was pretty hard to do. And just sit and watch your breath and see what happens. I think you'll be really impressed with the results. So that's actually the end of this video. I just wanted to give some insight because a lot of people ask me about how I train concentration and mindset. You need to do this because it is how you focus on what matters and you won't get distracted by a million things throughout your day because you'd be focused laser point on those things that really matter. And the great 
thing about meditation is that the more that you train it, the, the easier it gets to concentrate on things that really matter. And it just helps all facilitations of your life. Like instead of, instead of just hearing someone, you can really listen to them because you can actually concentrate on exactly what they're saying. And there's numerous other benefits you'll find. Leave a, a comment in the section below if you found some benefits through meditation or if you're going to try this practice. Maybe you try this practice for a few days, come back and tell me how it goes. And by the way, please leave questions in the comments section. If you have questions on self-development or improvement, I focus on peak performance and how to really get the most out of yourself. If you have any questions towards that end, I would love to answer them and help out. Love making videos about them and answering questions directly. It seems to be a way that I can help people most, uh, most effectively. So. Please leave questions if you have them. And meanwhile, all of the ways to follow me, I update every social platform every day, are in the description. Or if you're watching on Facebook, they should be in the comment section. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Really appreciate it and looking forward to seeing you again next time.